Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So continuing our discussion about antibiotics, now we are going to talk about the quinipristine and the delphopristine. Those are given in combination and they are both from the streptogramine antibiotic class. So streptogramines. The, the streptogramines are also protein synthesis inhibitors and they are used for highly resistant uh, microorganisms and they act as a last resort antibiotics. Uh, and they are usually combined in a mixture of uh, streptogramine A, which is in this case the delphopristine, and streptogramine B, which is the quinipristine. And the mixture is usually 70% streptogramine A and 30% of the B. So 70% delphopristine and 30% quinipristine. And those antibiotics are of high cost. Uh, and we, in this video, we will talk about the pharmacokinetics, the mechanism of action, the spectrum, the resistance, the therapeutic uses, and the adverse effects. So let's start. So let's start by talking about the pharmacokinetics of the streptogramines or the pharmacokinetics of the delphopristine quinipristine uh, combination. So with the pharmacokinetics, we always uh, use the ADMI. We start with the A, which stands for administration. So for the administration of the delphopristine, quinipristine, uh, they, there is only an IV formula, so only intravenous formula available, and they are incompatible with the saline medium. So incompatible with saline. You can't use saline for the IV injection. You need to use the dextrose water. So uh, dextrose water or 5% uh, dextrose water is used for the uh, as a medium for the IV injection and it is for uh, 60 minutes because those drugs causes venous irritation so we need to give them slowly for 60 minutes and we use the 5% dextrose water because the saline would interact with the drug and deactivate the mixture. So we, we use the 5% dextrose water. Now let's talk about the distribution of the quinipristine, delphopristine. So distribution, <clears throat> the molecular weight of the quinipristine, delphopristine is 1022 and 690 respectively. So it is 1022 for the quinipristine and 690 for the delphopristine and this is high molecular weight. The half-life of the of this combination is about one hour. So half-life uh, one hour with long post-antibiotic effect so plus uh, long post uh, antibiotic effect. They also they don't cross the cerebrospinal the blood brain the blood brain barrier. So they have poor uh, levels in the cerebrospinal fluid. And they have excellent penetration to neutrophils, excellent uh, penetration to neutrophils. That's what makes them having long antibiotic, most antibiotic effect. And they are, they finally, they cross the placenta, but they are not teratogenic. So not uh, terato. Genic. The metabolism of these agents is in the liver. 
so metabolism in the liver and execution is through the bile execution through the bile and no dose adjustment for people with renal failure but the dose adjustment is in the people with the hepatic failure now let's talk about the mechanism of action of the quinipristine dalphapristine combination so they bind into separate sites on the 50s ribosomal subunit so bind in separate sites on 50s ribosomal subunit bacterial ribosomal subunit uh, and they are they they act uh, as bacteriostatic individually if, if we give them if we give each of them alone we get a bacteriostatic effect but this combination would give us a bactericidal effect so those are together work as bactericidal and they have long post antibiotic effect so long post antibiotic effect now let's talk about the spectrum of the uh, citryptogrammies or the delpha pristine quinipristine uh, mixture or combination they work uh, work on gram positives gram positives including the multi-drug resistance uh, strains of the streptococci and the staphylococci multi uh, drug resistant uh, citrep and staph they also work on the enterococci including the vancomycin resistant enterococci except for the enterococcus faecalis they don't work on the enterococcus faecalis and they work on atypical microorganisms so they work on atypical microorganisms like chlamydia uh, and uh, Ligonella now let's talk about the resistance against the quinipristine dalphapristine so there is different modes of resistance by the bacteria but they are rare uh, the, the resistant patterns exerted by the bacteria include modifying of the binding site modifying the binding site of the quinipristine delta pristine also enzymatic inactivation of the drug and finally the efflux pumps so efflux pumps they pump the drug out of the bacterial cell now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the quinipristine delpha pristine combination so they are used to treat to treat complicated skin and soft tissue infections skin and uh, soft tissue infections caused by uh, staph multi-drug multi resistant staph like MRSA maybe and the streptococci 
They also are used to treat infections caused by vancomycin resistant enterococci caused by uh, vancomycin resistant enterococci and their use is limited because of the uh, availability of cheaper alternatives but again they are used as a last resort in case of the other antibiotics did not work we use these agents to treat the infections finally let's talk about the adverse effects of the uh, quinipristine dalfapristine so the first one and the most common one is the venous irritation venous irritation so this is solved by giving the drug uh, in 5% glucose water medium glucose water medium over 50, over 60 minutes so there is less venous irritation they also cause a uh, hyperpilorobinemia so hyperpilorobin because of the competition between the drug and the bilirubin for hepatic excretion this lead to the bilirubin accumulating and leading to hyperbilirubinemia in 25% of patients they also cause arthralgia and myalgia and they also uh, inhibit the liver CYB3A4 so inhibit uh, the enzyme cytochrome uh, P3A4 in the liver and this would lead to decrease in the metabolism of the cyclosporin uh, and the warfarin and some other drugs like the statin so we need to watch out uh, or decrease the doses of these drugs uh, in order to avoid toxicity and with that we reached the end of this video thank you guys for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video peace